Joining and welding technologies, which are used to join objects and create products and structural components, support our society and join people, objects, the world, and connect the present day to the future. Joining and welding technologies hold tremendous potential and possibilities. Here at JWRI, we have been leading the world in this field of research. JWRI has been recognized as one of the world's three leading research institutes in the scientific field of joining and welding. JWRI is second to none when it comes to the number of academic journal papers published on joining and welding science and technologies. Going beyond fundamental research, JWRI engages in the industrial application of such technologies, and it possesses comprehensive capabilities that enable it to engage in a wide array of activities involving everything from processes, materials, and assessments. Objects, the world, people, and the future. JWRI has continued supporting the manufacturing industry by joining these four concepts. Joining objects. Joining and welding are key technologies which are used to join materials and produce structural components. This technological innovation helps promote the evolution of manufacturing. Non-melt welding is one of the new methods of welding, which represents a shift from conventional methods. The method of welding we use is called friction stir welding, also referred to as FSW. For this method, we place two materials together like this and press against them with a cylindrical high-speed rotating tool that measures roughly 15 millimeters. In that moment, frictional energy is generated at the interface, and this method makes use of this frictional heat to join the materials. If the metal is melted, the strength of the part that is solidified after melting will typically be reduced. However, by using the FSW method, the metal isn't melted, thereby enabling us to produce structural components while maintaining the strength of the original materials. Numerical simulations to predict the deformation and residual stress of materials after welding are an indispensable technology for the design of large structures such as bridges and ships. Cracking, wrinkling, and springback pose major issues during the materials forming process. Through numerical simulation using digital data for a designed product, the optimal forming conditions can be obtained to prevent cracking and wrinkling and to achieve the accurate shape as it was originally designed. By performing simulations in advance, it is also possible to predict how much of the stress is generated from the joining process or how the deformation of structures occurs. The advance of joining and welding technologies continues day by day. JWRI is equipped with the latest facilities enabling it to engage in an extensive range of research. This system makes it possible to irradiate metal using stereography by using two X-ray sources. Here, we can observe metallic materials being welded together, using such methods as arc, plasma, or laser welding and so on. Typically, it would be impossible to observe phenomena on the interior of the materials, but by using high-brightness x-rays, it is possible to transmit beams through the interior of the materials. In addition, by using two high-speed video cameras, we can observe this phenomenon of transmission. With the combined use of computers, we can make three-dimensional observations of the phenomena occurring within the metal materials. We are the only institution in the world with this capability. With the only equipment in the world capable of this, we can conduct novel research and share such results with greater society. We believe this is the important role that we must play. Joining the world. Here at JWRI, we have also contributed widely to the advance of international research. Our staff members have attended various kinds of international conferences such as the Gordon Research Conference, one of the world's leading conferences. Our staff members have accumulated technological know-how and knowledge and established networks by attending such conferences. 
and all of this acts as the driving force which accelerates our research. Here at JWRI, we have also concentrated our efforts to collaborate with other research institutes, especially in Asia, and as a result, we have attracted attention as a world-class joint usage and research hub for the field of joining and welding science. As an international contribution, JWRI has developed a program to accept joint research collaborators from overseas. This is highly unique in Japan. Through such a program, JWRI has welcomed distinguished scholars and researchers to oversee global joint research collaboration. Joining People Through its joint research and its study abroad programs, including the one-of-a-kind JWRI Dojo program, not only does JWRI accept a diverse range of talented people from countries across the world, but it also engages in human resource development through its overseas internship programs as well. As part of our efforts to foster future leaders in global joining and welding research, we try to promote an environment in which we can all appreciate that common sense and personal values differ with gender, nationality, age, and cultural background. In addition, we also provide opportunities for the general public to engage in hands-on activities such as soldering to share the fun and fascinating aspects of welding with the wider community. With such a diverse exchange of knowledge, we encourage a strong mutual respect for each other's individuality, enabling us to all maximize our common potential. Through such initiatives, we aim to further enable diverse and talented individuals to perform active roles at our institute. Joining the future. By controlling nano and microparticles and developing new materials with highly accurate cyber simulation, advanced manufacturing that has been considered difficult using conventional means is now becoming a reality. JWRI has also begun making efforts to prepare us for the future. 3D Using 3D printing and three-dimensional manufacturing technologies, it has now become possible to produce a 50-centimeter cube at a rapid speed and to create complicated structures within such a cube. We believe the next step is to utilize joining and welding technologies to further combine and join multiple three-dimensional cubes. Although this might be a scenario for the distant future, we are also working on a concept for carrying structural parts via space elevator from the Earth to outer space. Possibilities include utilizing a multitude of drones to act like spiders to carry materials into space and to also perform manufacturing in outer space. Established in 1972, JWRI celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2022. This also marked the beginning of its efforts to take on new challenges that place a focus on achieving next-generation manufacturing and human resource development in joining and welding technologies. Based on these four key words, JWRI is an institution that aims to join and connect the dreams of people all over the world. By connecting people through advanced technologies, this can lead us to discover new concepts for manufacturing that can make our dreams come true. By making such dreams a reality, we hope to connect various stakeholders and communities throughout the world. These serve as an active interface between the various fields and cultural spheres of Japan. They truly connect Japan to Asia, Japan to America, Japan to Europe, and Japan to the whole world. In this way, Joining and welding technologies hold the potential to further the development of advanced manufacturing. In this sense, we believe that JWRI can play an important role in science and engineering. The cutting edge, ever evolving joining and welding technologies form the core of manufacturing that joins not only objects, but connects us to people, the world, and to the future. Using its foresight to predict what society will be like 50 years to 100 years in the future, JWRI continues to take on new challenges.